Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Now, if you're watching this as a replay, generally, if you're on a computer, you can go down below and look for the little gear. You can change that and make the speed faster. If you're on a mobile device, look up in the corner, up in this area for three little dots, and you can change the speed there as well. Those of you that are here live, do definitely speak up in the chat. I greatly appreciate you being here. Well, those that are here live earn a virtual currency. Junkie Joe should be coming up here in just a moment, and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have. What are bucks? They're junk bucks. It's just a virtual point system that I have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award. And my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at Linda Israel.com, please do so. And then send me a message through the contact form, letting me know what your YouTube username is. Why? So I'll have your email email address and I can email you your coupon code. Also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle right now, you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're gonna get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here today. I think my camera's a little off there. Uh, join the raffle. I remembered to open it today. Thursday, I completely forgot. <laughs> hey, y'all. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you got to do something that you love or relax or something to that effect. I got to do something that I hadn't done in 20 years. It was a fabulous day outside, so I made paper. <clears throat> now, I thought I would show you. 
What a, hey, Ada. Hey, Ruth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I made some handmade papers this weekend. Can you see all the fibers and bits in that paper? I used some junk mail that had been shredded. So this is one without. Hey, uh, thanks for line art, mixed media design for subscribing. I hope you're watching live. I used some junk mail that had been shredded. I had some old papers that maybe were printed on one side from newsletters. When I used to work at the large insurance company, they would shred documents. And so I had a couple of bins of those. I had some uh, pen fed paper, the little strips that go down the side, those would be perforated and come off. And so they were pure white. So I was able to use some of that. And I just had a boss making paper. I did a little video that I need to edit and I will be showing you all that later, meaning later in the week. I thought I'd show you a couple more of the pages that I made. This page was using some plant material that I blended so it has all this cool texture throughout. Uh, this one, I had some pink paper that I blended with some white and a little bit of plant material. Some of these are what I call text weight. Some of these are almost cardstock weight. Uh, they're very flexible. You can bend them. They are pretty much just like paper. They're very smooth. I used some blue paper. In fact, one of my papers, when I was starting to make it, it started to tear and I messed up. Anyhow, so I just threw it back in my bin. And so I got these really cool, bigger blobs that showed up that I thought was kind of cool. Here's where I, I tore one, but I just went with it. The texture that I got on these was from using the screen as well as some old cotton sheets. And I also, I had the opportunity, Robin will understand this, well, I used one of our garment presses that we have at our embroidery studio. We had an extra one and we brought it home, Henry helped me, and I was able to press the paper dry, which made the process go so much faster than letting it air dry. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. So I had a lot of fun. I think I made, I don't know, 80 some odd pages. So I'm going to use some of that today. So let's get, let's get ready. Let's get going. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. I, I enjoyed creating with the paper. So we're going to use one of the pages and basically, oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What I thought I would do is I have little bins, like here's a little bin here behind the dancing sheep, the dancing sheep. I have a little bin here that has some ready-made items. I have a bin here. Thank you, Mary, for your donation of scraps and leftover bits and pieces. And then I've even sorted some of my ephemera according to like, this is little hearts. This one is like domino size images. So I tried to sort it just a little bit. Like here's some more fairies and hearts. What is this one? This one's got women images of different women that I put in here. And so I've got little bins that I put these in so I can sort through it. Ah, I'm dropping stuff. So I thought we would start with this handmade paper. It kind of reminds me of a linen uh, paper. It's not quite cardstock, It's all, but it's a little bit thicker than text weight. You can write on it. I have one here that uh, is really super thin and is torn, so I thought I would show you. I got a couple different pins here. So I've got a roller bar ball pin, so we'll just kind of make a little mark right here in the corner. So I can write on that paper and it doesn't seem to bleed through. You see that on the other side? And that was just a little precision roller bar. And then here is my Sharpie no bleed pen. And I'm just using the scrap here. And this is the thinnest paper and it doesn't seem 
to show through on the other side. So I want to show you that you can use it and uh, it's a great way to recycle paper. <clears throat> All right, so I'm looking at this. I think I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm just gonna leave it with the messy edges. Some of them may break off. My decal is an eight and a half inch by 11 inch frame that I made a long time ago. Ah, oh, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, we've been getting lots of rain here too, Tanya. We really are. So I've got some different elements. Some of these are from, I'll, if I remember the name of them, I'll yell them out. For example, this is things from the Wildflowers kit by Norella of Calco Collage. And I just thought this paper is so pretty that I'm just going to glue this in this corner here as a tuck spot. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue across the bottom and then up the side. You don't have to go all out on every single page. And I think my junk being this page, you don't know if you can even see the text. The threads are from our embroidery shop that I cut up. So it's just kind of cool that I made my own paper. So I'm gonna put that there. And I lost my little piece. I have a new rubber stamp and it is junk never looked so good and i stamped that onto scraps so whenever i cut up a digital image or even the packaging that i use for my rubber stamps i save the little strips in a little bin and i use that and i thought that would be kind of cute just across the top there <clears throat> margarita boss is a in chat game that you will see come up and you can win junk bucks it's kind of like gambling except it you know it's not physically costing you anything you have virtual currency that you win it's a game got five more minutes and then you can play all right so those are going to be on this side i'm going to open this up to the inside here i'm going to put a journal card in there in just a moment <clears throat> thank you morgan so i've got a couple of, of scraps so here's where i had a, a strap of paper left over so i'm gonna put that up air out of the way and we'll see which side this side looks cleaner and then i have with brave wings she flies so i'm going to ink this up make sure i go straight up and down and try not to rock my stamp and stamp in the middle of that strip and just even pressure, let it rest on the paper for a moment so it'll transfer that ink. And there we go. I'll take my scissors and trim it. Kind of get it straight-ish. And I'll put this back in my little bin. I may use that later or something. And we're going to come in here with some distressed ink. I'm using walnut stain. I'm just going to go right around that edge. Okay. And then I have another scrap of paper. This was a scrap that I cut off, but I like that pale pink that was on the back side. So we're just going to line this up. Thank you, Margarita, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, I'll put this scrap in my bin over here. This is my colored paper scraps. <clears throat> oh yeah. We're going to go to the sewing machine here in just a moment. So there's our sewing cam lamb. We're going to be sewing. So I'm just going to go around the edge of this. Hey, Janice, welcome. So glad to have you here. All right. I still have subscription boxes left. If you didn't get the Dancing Dragonflies subscription box, I do have boxes left. I am out of the add-on tattered angels but i do have the subscription boxes the add-on printed kits the printed planner the printed mini and then the printed large journal kit so you think how's that with brave wings she flies so now i'm going to take a piece of fabric and i want to glue that right in the middle Hey, Heather, welcome. I haven't seen you in a while in the chat. How are you, lady? Hope you are well. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on that outside edge, actually inside edge, 
and we're going to put that somewhat over here to the edge in the center. <clears throat> and I'm going to trim this off and I'll save that scrap. I've got a little bin here. This is my little bin of fabric scraps that I have here. So we're going to use that. We're going to go to the sewing machine in just a moment. I have this long microscope slide image from Calico Collage that had a butterfly on it. And I thought it would be pretty just to place it in this upper corner. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have y'all here today. Do feel free to ask questions by typing out in all capital letters. I'll do my best to read them. If I don't see it, please post it again and I'll do my best to answer. Okay, I like that. So now we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch around this outside edge. So let's go over here. <clears throat> Get my machine straight. So remember that I'm just using a standard sewing machine, standard needle, standard thread. I have it set on a zigzag stitch that's set on two and two. I don't change my needle, don't change my thread if I'm going to sew from fabric to paper because I'm actually sewing paper and fabric together here. The only time I'll ever change things up is if I want to change the color of thread. I have black in the top and black in the bottom in my case and I'll change the needle if it bends, bends or breaks or if it's just not seeming to work very well so it'll last a long time. So we're just going to start stitching across the top here. I'm doing it because I like the decorative touch that the stitches add. It's not necessary. So if you don't have a sewing machine, don't feel you have to sew around your bits. Just make sure you use a nice amount of glue. I will recommend that if you're gluing things before you sew, that you don't get glue where your needle's going to be, or you at least allow it to dry. So that's what it looks like now. <coughs> All right, let's go back over here. All right, so then we got with brave wings, she flies. And I thought that would be kind of pretty to put across the top here, put my lamb back. So we're gonna glue this down. I'll try to put a, a nice generous amount. And we'll glue that across here. So we get a little bit of texture with that fabric across there. Like that. Okay, so over here, I showed y'all a little bit last week on the live stream of using wallpaper. So this is a wallpaper sample, and I used a scrap of paper in the background, and then this was a little label from Calico Collage, and I added a butterfly. I didn't fear you needed to see me stitch every element. I stitched around the outside edge, I stitched around this edge, and then I made a pocket on a pocket. So this is my tiny library card that is a rubber stamp that I offer. So here is my tiny library card. I even have a tiny postcard as well. And then this is one of Norella's, I think it's a botanical images, a little set that has a bunch of square images. And I thought that'd be super cute in there. So we're gonna glue it over here on this bottom portion. So it gives us a little bit of an anchor on that page. Thank you, Linda, for being here. Thank you so very much for your donation. Did y'all have big plans this weekend? As I said, I made some handmade papers, one of which I'm showing you how to use right now. I've really enjoyed making the paper. It's been a long time since I did it. In fact, um, yeah, they're teeny tiny, <laughs> teeny tiny. Margie loves it. She made a little sample. Uh, I haven't made handmade paper in probably 20 years, so it felt really good to play around and recycle some stuff. I'm going to let this dry for a moment before I put anything in the pocket, so let's go to the back. Let me flip this over. Ah. I have in my stash, I will stamp 
items. So this is one of the Beeline Designs butterflies. And then I colored it with some watercolor, or I used Tattered Angels like watercolor. And then I put some Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint. I thought that'd be cute right there. And I have some of this fabric left over. Why don't we just cut a little snippet of it. And let's glue that fabric down right here. I like to do my pages flat where I decorate them one at a time and then put my journal together. If you already have a ready-made journal, just think of the same concept of what I'm doing, but it's just in a journal. Don't feel like you have to start with your pages flat. You can also paste in pages so you don't have to worry about if you know we do a stenciling or something you can paste that to your foundation book <clears throat> you're very welcome tanya i saw your email i had a chance to i saw that i got an email so i haven't had a chance to uh reply so yay i'm glad you got it uh tanya just ordered the outrageous orange kit it was part of the rainbow boxes that i created i have uh, radiant red outrageous orange and youthful yellow i didn't go forward because the sales weren't enough for me to justify to continue making the next box so if and when i sell out of the other three colors i will move forward and create what is it green blue indigo and violet i think that's what it is all right i like that so let's go back over here to this side and I'm going to use one of Norella's pre-printed little cards that she has. I'll make sure I didn't glue it shut. Kind of sticks in there and then we're going to open this up and in here I've got a variety of things. I decided that it'd be kind of fun to fill it up. Oh thank you! Thank you! Thank you, thank you for your donation. <laughs> the Mrs. Edmondson. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is one of Norella's cat artist trading cards. And I think this is from Charming Forest. Again, these are just all leftover things that I had. This was a journal card that I made a while back. So I took some 12 by 12 cardstock, I cut it into four inch pieces, and then cut that in half into six inches. So I had six four by six pieces. I stamped behind there, that's the postmark collage. Looks like I had a book page that I colored with Tattered Angels. This was one of my mixed media master boards that I cut into strips and then just put on top. And then here is one of the Spring Peacock bookmarks that I put onto some craft paper and I added Choose Joyce, one of my rubber stamps, onto a scrap of paper and some fabric and I thought that would look kind of cool like that. A kitty! There's a kitty in here! And here's another page that I made, same concept, using different elements. Use a little different elements here because I was just trying to use up what I had. It's me, Jennifer! <laughs> I thought it was you, Jennifer. Set that over here. All right, let's make one more with handmade paper. I had a piece of paper that it's really thin and it kind of has, like this one has a hole in it. See there, there's a hole in it. <laughs> So I thought, well, why not? We'll just use it with the hole in it. So here's what I'm going to start with. I've got one of these tear-off notepads. And I'm grabbing a little scrap of paper. And then I have this new Deco Flower Stencil. It's new in my shop. I want to grab the Distress Oxide Mermaid Lagoon. So I got Mermaid Lagoon. And I went ahead and put labels on my little blending tools so that I didn't have to keep figuring out, okay, what color did I use that with? Do I need to wash it out? And I'm just going to gently rub over the top of the stencil design. Y'all getting entered into the raffle? 
turned out too thick, Lori. Uh, what I found was if I put one, oh, I got something, I got a hair in my eye. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. I found with my paper making that <clears throat> if I would basically put a two blenders full into my water and then make one page and then add another blender full before I go to the next page. That seemed to be the right consistency. This one was really thin. It's like text weight thin. It's really thin. And a couple of them are really thick. So using less is a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I just folded it in half. It, it's it's pretty sturdy. See, I'm pulling on it. So basically, if you're using paper to make paper, meaning that it was originally paper of some sort that you chopped up, it should have enough binding agent in it to make it a nice paper. If you're using real cotton or if you're going to add plant material, then you're going to need to add a sizing medium. And I just use liquid starch. All right. So we put a little decoration on that page and that kind of cool. And then I have my new corner stamp, a new stamp, put this away, put your tools away, Linda. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on this in the upper corner here. Oh, I was off the page, but that's okay. It's handmade, y'all. And stamp there. So now I have that piece and I want to glue that. See, there's a hole here. So I'm just going to glue that on the inside over that hole. So I'll have some writing space. I already answered that question, Robin. It, fi it folds fine. <laughs> Thanks, Margarita. <laughs> it folds just fine. All right, so we're going to put this over here and get it centered. Use my bone folder to help smooth it. And then let's see, I've got, oh, here we go. I must have dropped it. Um, that's fine. How about do we want? Wanderlust or Carpe Diem. Let's do Carpe Diem. This is one of Norella's words that she offers in her shop. Yeah, well, I'm so dang sorry. <laughs> now it's a hidey hole. Exactly, Margie. <laughs> I answered that question already. <laughs> so I'm just kind of lining that up. And we're going to go back to this outside area and I have a library card pocket. I think this is from a good book. It was left over from the good book and I just made up the pocket and we're going to put that right on this page. I'm just going to put glue on this outside edge so that if you wanted, you could use this as a pocket in the middle. And let's just glue that down like so. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna get, we're going to do some sewing again here in just a moment. So we're just preparing you. So now I've got a scrap of cardstock here and I've got a scrap of a gel print there. And I've got from the journal quartet number two, this is in my shop. There's a set of four words journal in different fonts that was requested. So now we have two different font uh, groupings in the shop. Uh, thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya, for your donation. So I'm just going to stamp this over to one side of this scrap of paper. Close that up, put this aside, and I'll just trim this. I'll eyeball it. Just kind of trim. We're going to add some distress ink to that edge. 
And then this is a scrap, like I said, of a gel print on a book page. So I'm going to come right here, kind of look at that and say, all right, so right about there. And I've created a small scrap. It's going to go in this bin. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of glue down the center here. Like so. We're going to go to the sewing machine here in just a moment. I'm going to add some distress inks to this outside edge. And then we're going to stitch around the word journal. Okay, we're going to go to the sewing machine. We're going to stitch around this outside edge. All right, bye, she says. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back over here to the sewing machine. And, oh, got the camera going too crazy. And we're just going to stitch right across here around the outside perimeter. Stitching away, stitching away. All right, so we stitched it. It's been stitched. I just realized my light was off. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> what will she make from the scrap? Who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> All right, so we got this little piece. And I think I'm just going to glue it directly on top of the library pocket. Oh, we're off here. In her hair, her scraps. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it next in her scraps. Exactly. You never know what you're going to make. You may need that. That may be the perfect thing. See how, like, here's another little scrap. I'm going to stick it in there. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to put that down right there. So that's looking pretty good. Well, it's empty. We need to put something in that pocket. I have a large library card stamp. Yes, let there be light. <laughs> let this little light shine. Let it shine. <laughs> All right. So I stamped a library card. And this is a standard library card that is three by five inches. So if you're having a hard time and you want real um, library cards to use but they're hard to come by they're expensive we could buy a stamp and you can stamp it on any paper that you like make it any color that you like so i thought we would decorate this up i'm gonna grab a rubber stamp or two i've got aspire to be amazing oh thank you nadine for your donation thank you thank you thank you all right, how are we doing on time? And I'm just going to ink this up, and I'm going to stamp that where the title is. So I'm just kind of lining it up and pressing it into place. It's a magic! Aspire to be amazing. All right, so we put that there. I'm going to put my stamp back where it goes so I can find it later. And we need a different stamp. This is a new flower bouquet. And I'm going to get a little, a, uh, what do you call that? A butterfly. I got a butterfly. All right, so we're going to line this up. Give me a little scrap of fab uh, paper here. We're going to stamp up this uh, flower bouquet over on the right hand side kind of coming off the page like so and then I've got from the butterfly beauties cube and we're just going to stamp that over here I'm going to leave it because whoever gets this journal may want to color that in so I thought that would be a good little project so we're going to put that in this pocket. I'm going to make sure I can get it in there all the way. Yeah, there it goes. So now we're in that little pocket. All right, so let's open this up like so. And we need to put something here. 
I'm looking at my, ah, okay. So this is another one of Norella's cards and I happen to have the little words BU and we're just going to glue that right inside this corner here and make it a little corner tuck spot. Like so. And I'll put a card in there, but we're going to do it after that dries a little bit. So I'm going to flip this over to the back side. And I put it up, so we're going to get it back out again. Oh, here, let's do this. Let's do live your best life. Got another scrap of paper. And stamp it. Live your best life. Can you see that? Live your best life. And let's trim it. Try to get straight. Again, I'll throw this in the little bin. <laughs> I may use it later. Who knows? And I'm just going to line this up, kind of eyeball it, and cut this piece. And I'm going to stick this back in my color papered bin and then let's add some distress inks around those. Oh, um, the junk, hang on a second. Junk never looks so good. Junk never looked so good. There you go, Lori. Junk never looks so good. All right, let's glue these together. All right, we'll put that right up here at the top. And I think we need something down here in the corner. I'm using a Lean's Tacky Glue, and it may look like I'm putting a lot of glue on there, but I'm really not. It's a very thin coat. Press that in. Let's look at my little flowers and stuffs. Let's look in here and see if we can find something. Oh, I've got this little um, torn piece of paper that was from... Mm, grandma's garden, I think. It was left over. So we're just going to ink that up and I'm just going to paste it onto the page just to add a little interest onto the page. Love the junk stamp. Yeah, you need it. You're welcome. Well, someone had asked for junk never looks so good. And so I put it uh, into the shop and I like this size of stamping because I can then layer up and make my own little titles and elements to the page. All right, and then we're gonna go back to the inside because this pocket should be ready. And then this was from a garden book. And there's a book page in the background. And then this was a scrap of cardstock that had a, a smooch on this side, it was dirty. So I just layered it up. And so now we have this little square on square little half sheet journal page so we use two pieces here's another of my handmade paper for making this journal today all right so let's set that aside all right i need these guys how are we doing is that a yes it is a new stamp mary it's a brand new stamp I've added a bunch of stamps. I've added some faith stamps as well. Get some of my smoothie. All right. So I've got from the June 2021 Artistic Stencil Club. I've got this stencil right here. I thought we would use that. So I'm going to get my spray box. And we're going to do two pages at once in a sense. So I'm going to lay out, this is a composition notebook paper. 
so composition notebook okay so you have it says nine and three quarters by seven and a half inches in size but if you open it up to the center and you unstitch it then you get this full sheet of paper and then i just trim that down to fit eight and a half by eleven sheet of or make it into an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper all right we're going to lay the stencil in here and then we're going to spray it with some tattered angels so i'm kind of thinking about I think I've been doing a variety of colors. I think maybe an, an aqua type color. So I think I've got Royal Peacock. So you can order just this bottle of Royal Peacock. It's a turquoise color. Um, I think I have Curious is another color that's close to this one. If you have the All About Robin's kit, I think there's one's called Robin's Blue, Robin Blue, I don't, Robin Egg, I don't remember. I think I may, Jennifer. I think I may. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> and I think I'm going to have to charge like $2 a sheet for it. But I am thinking about selling some of my papers. I just haven't finished photographing them yet to list it in the shop. I made papers Saturday. I spent six hours. I want to do another color too. And I spent about three hours. This is positive vibes on sunday doing some paper printing paper making not paper printing paper making all right and then i'm just going to use these same colors on the inside i'll hit it with my heat tool real fast Hey, Sophia! That, welcome, welcome, welcome! All right, let's see if I miss anything. You're welcome, Mary! All righty. Barb's not here. We haven't seen Barb yet today, have we? Hey, Bonnie, welcome! I like it. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to set this aside to finish drying. Take the stencil up and flip it over. And let's spray this side. I'm trying to use up these. I got a little bit left. <laughs> let's hit it with a heat tool. And then let's decorate this page. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so this paper is relatively thin, and it will crinkle really nicely when it's dry. So let's see what we want to do as far as decorating our page. I'm going to try to do both at the same time. Um, oh, I know what we can do. So I have... I have some of these journal labels by Calico Collage. I don't know if I need that many, but we could do that on there. Something like that. We could add, do we need to add any more decorative elements to that? Do you think that would be sufficient? Just keeping it relatively simple. I could, I'm looking, I'm looking at my stash to see what I have. Ooh, what if we were to cut a strip of this blue paper and matted that behind there? Mmm, thank you, Bonnie. You love that. That is from the July or June Stencil Club. June Stencil Club. All right, so these I'm going to measure are roughly one inch. So if I go, do we go an inch and a half? Would that be a nice? I think that'd be a good frame. So I'm gonna cut two one and a half inch strips. I make my gel prints and then 
because I'm using my own stencils and the copyright says that I can scan in my work and print it into a physical thing. So I will scan in my gel prints and print them so I can use them over and over. Oh yeah, I need to trim it this way. So I'm gonna come here. And, whoops, sorry, all that clanking noise. So three and a half, so maybe if we go four inches, let's see how that looks. Oh yeah, that's that'll work. We'll do a four inch strip. See how that looks? Hey, Kristen, poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, get in on the raffle. And I've got, I created scraps. They're going to go in the bin. <laughs> All right, y'all do the raffle. And I think we're going to go to the sewing machine again here in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is apply some distress inks to the edges of my gel prints. As soon as I find my ink pad, it got covered up. We're gonna we're gonna do the raffle. Thank you, Jennifer. In just a moment. So if y'all haven't already, get in on the raffle. And then we're gonna go to the sewing machine. Would y'all be interested in some write on transparency film? I know that it is expensive to buy a box of a hundred sheets because the price has gone up a bunch. If that's something that y'all are interested in, maybe do you want five sheets or 10 sheets? And I've got it, Robin. Then I will add some to my shop if you're interested in some flat flower, flat, flat. Oh, bling, bling. Robin always wants bling. If y'all would like some transparency film in smaller packages, let me know. I like how that looks. You really need those bucks, Margie. <laughs> Just keep playing, Margie. You might win some more. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get all of these put together. like so and then we're gonna go to the sewing machine after i do the raffle and she wants a flat flower or bling okay all right y'all ready <laughs> are y'all ready for this um Oh, how about us? We'll do a beeline design stamp on the other side. So I'm getting it ready. Getting it ready now. Getting it ready now. We're going to get it ready now. All right, let's do that. Okay. Oh, I know what we'll do. Okay. It's official. We will have one journal raffle. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. Thank you. And that is a digital download, by the way, that if you are a YouTube donator, go to my website, lindaisrael.com, and make an account if you haven't already made one. And then if you haven't contacted me to be added, please use the contact me form. Say, Hey, I donated on YouTube and you'll be added to the YouTube donator membership. And because you are now a member, you'll get this digital download, which has several different pages in it for free. Otherwise you have to buy them. Okay. There's some of my gel prints that I made just a couple weeks back. Alrighty. So let's do this. Where is it? Giveaway. And the winner of 200 junk bucks is Jennifer Smith. Congratulations. You've won 200 junk bucks. Yay. All right, we're going to reset that. We're going to go here. 
We're going to go journal. All right, so I found these when I was cleaning my room, and I've made a bunch of these part of the 12 Days of Junk Journal gift ideas. So I have two of these. We're going to give away two separate giveaways here in just uh, oh, about 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So this was a calico collage image. I do have this as a blog post, and there's a tutorial video. And I think if you do char uh, dangle, tassel, charm, you can see that I how the how it all went together. So there's your flat back gym there, Robin. We'll add some. Uh, that's uh, two images that I put back to back. And then Norella's words, I put those back to back and punched holes in them. And then I show how to make a little tassel. And then I use some beaded components. And I've got two of those. So this one says cherish and beautiful. And this one says inspire and imagine and has just little different odds and ends. So we're going to have two giveaways here in a few minutes. We'll poke those back in there. Poke that in there. All right. Set this up here out of the way. All right. Well, let's go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch around the word journal. Y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. Super hot. Hey, Barb. Hey, Barb. I'm going to be shipping out your stuff probably tomorrow or Wednesday. If there's anything else you want to add, just let me know and I'll get it added. <laughs> All right. So we're back over here. We're just going to stitch around this outside edge. While I'm sewing, if you have suggestions for rubber stamps, that you would like to see. Last Thursday, we talked about adding faux postage. So I've been looking through images that I have, and then I've been looking at buying some digital vintage images online to make some faux postage. I'm having a hard time finding a koi fish. I may have to draw one. I'm not sure yet, but I did find some roses and an owl. Someone asked for an owl and I can't remember what else, some of the other images. So that's something that I'll have a, basically I think I'm going to do a whole faux postage line. So probably another 10 or so rubber stamps. You can have a variety. I found a, um, mushrooms because i know angelica would love mushrooms what else did i see oh a bison a bison we have bison here in oklahoma so i kind of give that oklahoma look and different flowers i don't know i just kept i kept adding things to my little folder of images that i want to use oh a rooster i found what a rooster in my stash that i thought would be really cool as a posted stamp a faux posting stamp. All right, I'm trying to concentrate and get this stitched. I love how colorful these are turning out to be. You love buffalo, Barb? Yeah, I love the faux postage. Well, I've got, to, oh yeah, Prince Edward. Island, that's where you live, Barb, in it, yeah. I thought it'd be kind of fun to have different faux postage. I, I did add the Alice in Wonderland, and I have a dragonfly post. I picked a butterfly that I think I want to use for the butterfly post. So now I'm just going to sit down at my computer and make them. y'all realize how much time is spent <laughs> behind the scenes. Ooh, a cactus. Oh, that's a good one, Barb. Thanks for saying that. I was looking at some plant materials. Cactus would be good. Okay. You got me at rooster, Ada. <laughs> yeah. And Robin listed a whole bunch of uh, ideas in there. That's why I was trying to name them off. You had the rooster, I mean, a butterfly, and rose. I was trying to think what else it was. Oh yeah, kitten post. Yes. Yes, Margie. 
Yes, Robin, I did start another raffle, another free raffle. And it is for a chance for a, a journal charm, dangle, charm dangle. What did I call it? Gnome and red truck postage. Gotcha. Dangle, journal dangle. Robin, I got two journal dangles. It'll be two separate drawings. Yeah. So I think a kitten would be cute. Yeah, Deborah suggested cactus. Be all prickly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to stamp on this side. And I'll come down just a little bit. So I'm going to gauge where I want to stamp because I'm going to glue this on the other side so this won't bleed through. Oh, it might help if I put the camera back over here where you can see me. Oh, eyeglasses and optical things like an eye chart. Really, Lori? Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, an eye chart or optical glasses. Oh, and I found a bicycle. I thought a bicycle would be really cute. I found a big wheel. I don't, I think that's what they're calling it. The big wheel with the little wheel. I thought it would be super cute as a postage stamp. All right, let's uh, ink up. I digress. I get, I get off on a tangent, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> Rob is drinking. You're excited about your order, Bonnie? Yeah, uh, you, are you, did you get, uh, the sprayers, I, I saw the email come through. I'll be shipping out a bunch of stuff tomorrow and Wednesday. So if you are waiting on an order, I got rubber stamps cut for Barb and I got to put, uh, put them together. I have to put the backing on them and then I have to put it um, in the sleeves. So if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. And I thought we would stamp a little butterfly, like right there. And it'll kind of, it might show through on this side, but it's not too bad. And you know what, just for ease, I'll just stamp this again over here. That way I'm not changing the stamp three or four times. And then this time we're going to put, let's do it this way. And then on this side, we will glue the word journal. Ooh, sand dollar and a seahorse. Yes, I like that. I was looking through a bunch of sea life and I saw some fish and I think I saw a turtle, but I'm not positive. It's going to become a thing, y'all. <laughs> I'm not drinking. My computer is dying. Robin needs a new computer. A doily postage stamp? You want a little doily in it? That would be cute. Robin needs a computer. We need to, Hey, if y'all are interested in um, journal charms, do check out Robin's shop. Robin, if you have the moment to... to uh, <laughs> um, share your link to your shop Robin needs some money to buy a new computer <laughs> I'm helping you out I'm pimping you out Robin alright so I'm going to put that kind of close to the line flip it, flip it flip it okay put that over there stamp the butterfly Let's stamp the butterfly. And then we'll come back on this side. And we'll put the word journal. Alrighty. I'm going faster than I thought I would. I pre-made a bunch of pages. So we're going to flip through those here in just a few minutes. But I think I want to make the cover next. I generally put 10, 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper folded in half inside my journals. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. And mainly when I make my journals, I design them so that they will fit inside one of my Midori covers. So this was the Dancing Dragonflies 
Midori cover and I have a tutorial. Oh, a feather and a pen and ink bottle. Yes, that would be a good one, Deborah. I just saw, I saw that image too. Yeah, okay, you bought the new sprayers. That's what I thought, okay. And I put my journals in using the elastic band. So I have journal inserts. That's how I like to make mine right now. I used to make them where I sewed them to the cover and I found that I like this a lot better. Alrighty, so we made two more pages here. You like them? Just keeping them simple. Holiday theme, faux pas, Christmas and Halloween. Yep, I have pro and a, oh yeah, birthday. So Robin put, she, it's Rob, poor Robin's computer. She may not even get the note saved. <laughs> oh, good. Well, hopefully this week. <laughs> Does he need postage? Uh, Robin, don't forget Halloween, Christmas, and birthday. Maybe the 4th of July. I thought I saw a USA uh, one as well. Okay. So let's make. Let's make the cover, because I showed you how to use stencils. We used rubber stamps. We I showed you my recycled paper. That's some junk that I had here. So let's make a cover. All right, let's put this over here. Look, y'all, a doily. They don't pump it all. Yeah, it's, sometimes they go bad. I've got a calico collage image. I have some lace. I have a pocket that's already made. And then I have this piece. So what I have here is some double-sided cardstock. And I've cut it to 8.5 by 11. I've got my corner chomper at a quarter of an inch round, quarter rounder. I've decided that I really need to use up some of the scrapbook type papers that I have in my stash. And I thought, well, why not use them for a journal? So this was a two-sided that was gray on one side. I thought it was neutral enough. And it's pretty heavy. It's probably a hundred pound cardstock. I'm gonna go around the edge real fast with some distress inks. Just put all kinds of holiday foss post. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah. Cheesecloth. Oh, I didn't get any cheesecloth out today, Margie. Maybe that's what I'll do next Monday. <laughs> okay. Pumpkins and fall leaves. That's a good one, Maria. That's a good one. I like it. Okay, I've already gone around this image. This is from Grandma's Garden. I had printed on cardstock the full sheet that's normally eight and a half by 11. I shrunk it to a eight by 10, so I had a little bit of a border all the way around. So it makes it a little bit smaller so that when I put it on my cover, you get a nice little border all the way around. But before I put this down, I want to put some lace. I'm looking to see which is the right side on my cover to tie my journal shut. So if it's extra fluffy, it will be able to close. So I'm just folded it in half. I'm going to find the middle of my journal here. It's fighting me. Quit fighting me, man. All right. I think that's about good. So I'm just gonna fold this back for a second and take my glue. This is gonna be under the piece on the front cover, but I just wanna glue it in place for a moment so it doesn't shift on me when I start sewing. What, you're taking a vacation next Monday? No, Robin, you can't. <laughs> you like the lace, Morgan? Um, you get some when did I, I had this in one of the subscription boxes. I think I've even had it in two subscription boxes. I had enough. All right, then I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing here. Just put a little squiggle. It'll dry clear, but it'll help hold it in place. 
until I get to the sewing machine. All right, so we're in sewing land. Anywhere there is no cheesecloth, I think. I was just kidding. Robin was like, no, I'm not coming if you're going to do cheesecloth. All right, so now we're going to go to the sewing machine, and I'm going to stitch right across the top here. Then I will glue this into place, and I'll stitch all the way around it, okay? That's funny. She's just not going to come if I'm going to be playing with cheesecloth. Like, no, Robin, you can't. All right, we're going to do a zigzag stitch right inside here. Don't stop on me. Okay. So we went all the way across. And I decided because this had this little ruffle here at the bottom that I didn't want to sew across the bottom. So I just sewed the top. I figured that was just enough. So I'm going to grab my glue and glue this in the center. So I'm just putting glue right in the center here. Again, just enough to hold it in place because we're going to stitch it down. Yes, yeah, you have to go 12 months in advance. Robin will get to go on vacation in August, um, the week after my birthday. And she can go on vacation in January. <laughs> she goes on vacation when I go on vacation. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> My mother-in-law and father-in-law and another couple that we've kind of adopted into the family. I don't know what you want to call them. I guess we call them a cousin's brother from another mother um, and his wife. We, we've adopted both of them. They're going on a cruise to Alaska and they leave on my birthday. Well, Henry and I cruise with Carnival Cruise Lines and we got an amazing deal in the mail to go on a cruise that we thought we were going to have to pay between now and August and ends up it's not going to cost us anything so I'm going on vacation in August the week of my birthday <laughs> and I get to go with my friends and my mother-in-law and father-in-law and we're all celebrating our birthdays Henry's birthday is in July mine is August the 17th. Henry's dad's birthday is in July. Henry's mom's birthday is in September. And then Karen and Sean, I'm trying to remember when their birthdays are. Uh, I think they're a little bit further away, but I thought it would be kind of fun. We're all going to celebrate birthday. <laughs> so yeah, so we get to go on vacation with our family and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because it's been a while. All right, so what do you think? Just keeping it really simple. I like the pattern, adding that little bit of lace. If you wanted, you could add the word journal or something, but I think I'm gonna leave it relatively flat. All right, so we open it up to the inside and I have one of these pockets that I made last week on Thursday that have the multiple pockets. So this is some images from Norella, use rubber stamped images use a gel print, some fabric, another gel print, and I want to glue that as a pocket right inside here. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, yes, that you want, I want to send hus hubby on a cruise and that would give you a vacation. Got you, Margie. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, yeah, um, this will be our third time, and I don't mean to brag, but we've been very blessed this will be our third time to go to Alaska. I think the first time was in like 
2000, 2001. It's been a long time ago. You figure out how to stow away, Robin? Hee <laughs> hee <sighs> hee. Well, the bad news is now I got to save my money. You going with me? Yep, there you go. Your birthday's in July too, Ada. All right, so we're going to glue that there. And I want something over here. So I was looking at this thing and I was like, well, that's kind of pretty, but not. So I have a, two pieces of a book page that I've glued together. So I'm just going to look at this. Let's do this. I'm going to trim off the edge. Let me look at my sample. How did I do that? Oh yeah. All right. So don't need this edge. I don't want this edge. I think that'll work. And then this needs to be about four and a quarter inches. So we're just going to go four and a quarter and cut that. And then I've got this piece left over. I'll just stick it in my bin. And then these I'll put in my strip box. Not stripping box. Strip box. You want this journal, Margarita? <laughs> Alright, so I've got this little piece that I'm going to put with this. So I want to rip this okay so kind of have a little ripped edge and then we need to colorize this so I'm gonna lay this I'm looking at my yeah that's good. I'll put it right about there and I'm gonna spritz it with silver sugar because it's a kind of an off-white ivory and I want it to have just a little bit of color so that'll darken it just a little bit kind of a gray your birthday's in 12 days well happy birthday Bonnie Alaska's on your bucket list uh, I understand I love cruising so I'm really looking forward to getting on a ship again I like the ability to go to your room and unpack and then the next day you're in a different place and then you go to dinner on the ship you get to go to a show if you want to and the next morning you wake up and you're in a different port of call so you get off the ship and you get to go see all kinds of stuff I don't know it's kind of fun I was talking not paying attention and I need to put that there and I want a stencil So this is Retro Panel 4. Retro Panel 4. And I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do a green. So I'm doing the Lily Pad Green. If you got um, Enchanted Rose, I had Stem Cut. Blarney is brighter, but it would be a good green. So I'm just going to spritz that. And I've got a scrap of paper here, so I'm just going to use it to mop up. This kind of makes this, you know, just a random journal page that I can keep adding and layering on if I want. All right, so that just made a little pattern on there. So I'm going to dry it. True crime. <laughs> oh dear. All right. See, and that'll be a cool journal page later on. All right, let's add some distress inks to the edges of this piece. Oh, and I just remember one more thing that I want to do. So now that I've got that distressed, I have this doily. So I have a doily. So let's lay it here on the bottom. And I've got, this was deep blue. I think 
the sapphire is a color I have in my shop that's close to this. And I was trying to remember what other kit had a dark blue. I think this steampunked, punked out steam one had a dark blue in it. And then I've got walnuts gold. Yeah, yeah. Well, Deborah, I've been doing this. I see a tattered angels. I've been on their design team or I was on their design team started in 2017. And I think I have every color tattered angels almost <laughs> that they offer. Plus all the custom colors that they made for me. Oh, you get to use the journal I made you. Exactly, Janice. Yes, it's right behind me. Uh, oh, well, I take that back. I have it on a shelf over here now with all my dedicated um, journals. Yes. Thank you for reminding me of that. I got it out the other day and I was flipping through it. It's like, I need to use this. And that time when I was looking at it, we weren't going on a cruise. So I'm glad you reminded me. Oh, thank you, Ada, for your donation. All right. So I just added... A little bit of tattered angels to that and I think what I'm gonna do is just make sure the flowers not upside down is kind of layer these together to make a little pocket in the back thank you thank you thank you for your donation I'm, I'm looking forward to going and spending time with family and seeing Alaska, that'll be beautiful to see. I mean, I've been two other times, so this time I really just want to do a relaxing trip. And not that hurried, hurry, let's go see this, let's go see that. So it, it should be nice to just kind of relax a little bit. I know there's a couple of like little museums nearby. That I can go for the day. There's some little small trails, usually real close to where we get off the ship, that we can go and walk around like little parks. Okay, I like that. So now I'm just gonna glue this guy right here in the corner and make it a little pocket. So just because you're using junk, like a book page, it doesn't have to be ugly. Just add some color. Add some pizzazz. You like it? All right, so we need journal cards for in here. I decided just to include the strip of paper that was left over from cutting it into an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'll just put those in there so you could have those for writing space. Well, someone had asked for different types of journaling items that weren't journal cards. My nose has got the itchies. I need to wipe it. Pardon me. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I decided that I would show a different way of making a faux envelope to go in your journal you know many 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 years ago they would fold their paper that would become their envelope and also their letter writing space so this is a mop-up page from the July, june stencil club it's got the little hearts in there and i think i used the blue water deep no yeah blue i think it's blue water from the dragonfly kit yeah blue water because so i like that color so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take this lengthwise and just crease it just slightly right here at the top just so i have a little point and then i'm going to take this long wise strip and meet that point and fold it as pretty straight as i can get so I've got one fold here, and then I'm going to take this side and fold it up to meet in the middle. Meet me in the middle. 
okay? We pet our papers here because it's linen paper and it feels really good. Thank you, Barb. Isn't that pretty? I love how it turned out. So now I'm going to line it up in the corner here. And, you know, if, if it's hard for you to get that corner, you can take a ruler. And that's where you're going to fold it in. And then I'm going to match this corner up over here, corner to corner, kind of fold it, make sure it's straight. I'll get my bone folder out and I'll go ahead and kind of crease that. Okay, so now we've got this really long skinny piece. So we're going to fold it up about, oh, a third of the way here. Okay. Trying to make sure it's straight on the edges and crease it. I'm going to come from the top down just a little bit and crease that. And then I'm going to take this piece up and tuck it just below where this fold edge here is. You see that? And crease it. Yeah, paper petting is addictive. Y'all enter the raffle. Love that color blue. Thank you, Jennifer. Like that. All right. So, everybody get in on the raffle. I'm just going to go around the edge now. And add some distress inks. But doesn't that look like the back of an envelope now? Pretty clever, huh? Alright, so I'm just going to keep unfolding it. And adding more distress inks as I unfold it. Oh, do this one. All right, and then I'll go right there. So it kind of depends on how much you want it to look vintage and distressed. I'm going to go across. This is one of these things that you can just sit and watch television and do the distressing and folding. Get you a stack made and then you can decorate them later. You see doing that? Maybe that's what I need to do with some of my mop up papers. Okay. So let's go ahead and fold it back in. Crease it really well. All right, let's do the uh, raffle here in just a moment. Let me finish gluing this together. So I had a little butterfly image from Calico Collage that I thought would be really cute on the back for a closure. So I'm just going to glue this down. Do, do, do. And then I'll flip this over. And I've got sketched wildflowers. Let me grab my... Oh, my cell phone hit the floor. I got my sketched wildflowers and a little scrap of paper here. Don't go crooked on me like that. Okay, and we're going to stamp this in the corner right here. It's real subtle. You can see the pattern in there. And then I've got this dragonfly domino image from Calco Collage that I would stamp or glue as a postage stamp on this side. I know I could have used my faux postage rubber stamp, but I was trying to use what I have. 
Okay, and then this is Laugh Out Loud. I thought it would be kind of cute to put right over the top of that. All right, let's do the raffle. I am actually, I'm trying to think here. All right, I'm going to pick one winner now, and then I'm going to pick another winner for one of these journal charms in a couple of minutes when I start putting the journal together. Okay, so we're going to pick one winner right now, and then I'll reopen the raffle. So the first winner of one of the journal dangles is... Leslie Spears. Congratulations, Leslie. All right. So then in a few minutes, I'm going to allow entries. Y'all can enter if you haven't already enter the raffle and here just a couple of minutes when I'm putting the journal together, we will do the next raffle. All right. So I'm going to put this in this little pocket here. And while I've got this flat, I'm going to Get the rubber stamp this journal made by butterfly stamp over there. Get it straight. You're welcome. All right, join the raffle. Because we're going to have another one in just a few minutes. This journal made by, and then let me get my pen. Linda, and this is six seven twenty twenty one. All right, so that's one journal cover, and then here is the other journal cover. I'm going to stamp it the same. Oh, it's upside down! Dang it! I wasn't paying attention. All right, so here's where I'm going to fix that. I have a scrap of paper. <laughs> See, uh, this is a perfect learning opportunity. Opportunity. I can't even get get my words out. So I'm going to stamp it onto a scrap of paper. Now, do I want to use the whole strip of paper and sign on there? Why not? I'm going to sign it. I don't keep it too long. All right. So now I'm going to trim this. And we're going to add some distress ink to it. See, there's one more than one way you mess up. Uh, one more journal charm. One more journal charm. All right, so I'm just going to glue that right there. How's that? Yes, the whole strip. It's a good thing you agreed with me since I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put it right over. And that fixed my boo-boo. And then here's another envelope that I made. Same concept. All right, so let me show you the pages I made. And let's put the journals together. I'm just kind of cleaning off my desk. All right, so we got these two journal covers. I'm going to set those aside. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to put these together. So I'm going to move some of my bins out of the way. 
so I have more room. It's so much nicer that I've cleaned up spaces like behind me here so I can put things back there out of the way to get my desk cleared off. All right, I think fancy paper. I think I'll go over here. We have that journal page. And then here's some mop-up papers that I made. This is a pocket that I showed how to make during the live last Thursday. This is my new uh, flower border rubber stamp. And I love these pink and yellow together. Uh, thank you, Barb, for your donation. And here I use the little lady images. And I put one of my faux post uh, cards back here. A little tuck spot and there's another little lady so let's set her right here for a minute and then this one I had a belly band that I showed how to make last Thursday and then here someone sent me these um, bags that they embossed I don't know if she made the bags I think she made the bags out of parchment paper or wax paper wax paper and then she ran it through her embossing machine and then this is a little card I made last week. My nose is itching like crazy. So this time I use some sheet music across the top here and added the title. And then I used the corner stamp at the bottom. I made an envelope last week. This is a different style. So I used my faux postage from the Dragonfly. I did some stamping on it. So another journaling spot that isn't a journaling card. So let's lay that right there. Oh, let's put it right here. Let's see what else I've got here. Okay, so this one is one of my gel prints that I scanned in and I made a pocket last week showing y'all how to layer up and this is a mixed media card that I made where I stamped with rubber stamps it, again this is stuff I found in my stash here is the white glider and then this is a little swirl in my shop and then here I use some leftover bits from calco collage some sheet music lace and a little fabric or a bow and I had a uh, scrapbook paper cardstock. You want embossing machines so bad, Jennifer? Isn't that cool? It's it's cool for the embossing. This side, I added the word vintage, and then I have a little pocket over here that's made with one of those little faux envelopes, and I made a little cluster. So we've got a piece of fabric and the word. I glued that in so it's not just stuck in there. It's glued in because I just thought it was too cute stuck like that. And I didn't want it falling out all the time. This was a scrap of a sticker. And then this was a gel print um, envelope that I made. And I just realized that I didn't stamp anything. So since I've got this butterfly, I'll just stamp it in the middle. Ah! Thankfully, it didn't land on the page. <laughs> And then I just made a little notes card. So this is the tiny flourish and notes from my shop that I just thought was really kind of cute. And then I happened to find this little bitty tag made with one of Norella's images and then stamped the uh, postal collage in the background. And I just put some fibers. And then this is one of Norella's domino images that I enlarged. let's see right there and then I have another page that's blues uh, this would say Starbucks band and this was just a journal card that I had left over and I didn't mention this earlier that this was printed on some really thin paper and I didn't print the back sides or if I did print the back side it messed up so I ended up gluing two sheets of paper back to back and stitching all the way around I did the same with this page as well. Uh, here I made this little booklet 
So again, not a journaling card, it's a booklet. I took some eight and a half by 11 sheet of scrapbook paper and cut it in half and added some distress inks. And then this is the mini journal kit that I had extras that I printed that were in my stash. So I cut it apart and glued it on top. On the inside, I stenciled and added my little floral border so that I had a little writing space. So a good way to use up your scrapbook paper, make it into little, and they're thin, so it's not super thick, but it's thick enough that because I put this image on the other side, your paper won't bleed through the ink to the other side. And this is just a little journal card that Norella made. And with brave wings, she flies. So let's put that there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm looking to see what else I want to use. Okay. okay, let's do these. So then I've got two more. And this is from the Unicorn Dreams. I, I love this kit. And I just thought it's just kind of interesting, eclectic, if you will. So that's why I used it. And on this side, I don't know which kit this is from, honestly. I found it in my stash and I just glued it to the back side and I added a little journal card. And this is again, the Unicorn Dreams. And I added little journal spots to it. And then this side, that is from uh, Serena Flora. All right, so I'm thinking, what do I want for the middle of the journal? I'm thinking maybe this for the dead center. And then maybe... Do we want it to be against that so that when you open it, that's what you're going to see. That'd be journal, journal, too close together. I'm trying to think what else I have here. <laughs> oh, this would look kind of cute with that, wouldn't it? And then this one would have, okay, I think that's what we're going to do. All right. That's going to be the middle of our journal. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So these are just kind of simple. So this says grace. This is where I sprayed a, some tattered angels onto a card. And that says notes. I was out of shot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, here I had sprayed the dragonfly chipboard pieces in the corners. And I happened to find happiness is flying with your own wings. And I used the uh, sketched wildflowers. And then I used the dragonflies in the center as well as the journal quartet. And then I had another little dragonfly image here that I thought, okay, those will be cool. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now I just need some of my printed pages. And I got a few journal pages left that I'll be able to use. So this is from Grandma's Garden. I think that's kind of pretty. I've got, what else do I have here? Do I have another one of those? Aha. And then, one, two, 
Ah, okay. I had so many papers here, I was trying to figure out what's going on. And then I have some more of the pages that I just glued back to back and stitched around the edge. Unicorn Dreams. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need at least two more pages. So I've got some of these All About Robin pages. I'm just kind of looking at them to see what I want to use. These are the same. How about, I like that page. That'll be a good one. And did I fold them differently? Ah, oh, that's what I, I was confused because they weren't looking right. So these are but uh, birdies. So how about one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I was trying to get ten pages plus the little half sheet. All right, so now we're going to put this together. You love the handmade paper in this? Thank you, Robin. I thought it would be kind of cool to have the variety in here. All right, so I'm going to grab one of these pages. Get my things in the pockets. So is this eclectic enough? It's just got a variety of different things that I had left over and I was like, Ooh, what if we use that? And Oh, what if we use this? And sometimes I got lucky and I had two of a thing. The handmade paper is going to stick out. That's kind of cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll put this guy in the middle. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for a moment. Put this one together. We love watching the process. Well, thank you. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was kind of fun. Um, we're going to give away the second journal charm here in just a moment. So go ahead and get in on the raffle. And then I will bind these journals together and we'll do a flip through of what they look like bound together. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask. Got a variety of different kinds of papers in here. And this will be in the center. All right, we'll get my junk journal binding tools. Get out my paper clips. And I've got a needle in here somewhere. Ooh, that would have been dangerous. I need to fix that. The cap came off of my seam ripper and it was sticking out. And I could have injured myself. So I'm putting it back on there. I may put a piece of tape on it. Just to help keep it. Do it this way. There. Just so keep it on there. All right, there's a found a needle finally. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back through and make sure that I have my pages where I want them, which is in the center of my journal cover. 
And then we're going to paper clip this all together. There we go. I'm trying to hold it, not damage the pages. Get the paper clip where it needs to go. Let's go this way. Ooh. No moving. No moving. All right. Got it. So get my fun foam out, and then I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. This is the stitch I like to do because it's easy. And it's sturdy. All right. Thank you so much, Margarita. Thank you all so much. I thank you for your support and hanging out with me here today. Did I give you some ideas to try? All right, so let's get the thread. Where's the end? I hate it when the end is hiding. There it goes. Just twist it. Get my scissors. I'm going to do one, two, three, and double that. My needle is laying here. Hey, Suzanne. Hello, hello, hello. Did you get your package for me a while back? Thank you for being here, y'all. All right, so we're going to start in the center and do a pamphlet stitch. Try not to grab the lace. Oh, I just remembered something I was going to do. Oh, well. Go back through the center. And up through the bottom. Well, Jennifer, I think the key really is getting your pages nested together and then clip them together. You can use bull nose binder clips. You can use these giant paper clips that I have. Just find whatever you can to temporarily hold it. Because I think that's what a lot of people struggle with is if it's moving on you, it's hard to bind it together. So get it bound together temporarily. All right. I'm going to tie this shut and grab the next journal. All right. So we're just giving one journal today. I'm going to buy in the next one and we're going to do the last free raffle. So go ahead and join that if you haven't already. I'm going to drink my smoothie. You like the lace on the cover? It just kind of adds a little bit to it, doesn't it? But I didn't go overly frilly throughout the journal. So it's just a little a touch. All right, so we're going to paper clip this together. All right, spring loaded. See, this one's already coming loose, so I'm going to go this way. There. Just so this isn't shifting. You just figure out what works. Get out of the way, Lace. Yep, this paper clip's coming off, too. One more paper clip on here. 
There. Start in the center. I did poke that, didn't I? I don't think I poked it. I think I attempted to. All right, we gotta hurt work quick. The paper clips are flying off. I need to find my big bull nose clips. When something's thicker and when it's kind of fluffy, the pages kind of work against you. You was going to feed the dogs, Barb. <laughs> Well, at my house, it doesn't take very long to feed the dogs. They eat really quickly. All right, so we're just going to. Pull this in opposite directions. Now the paper clips can fly off. Put all the tools away. Oh, oh, I may, I may, I may, I may, I may, I may. I may have charms. I'm going to look and see if I've got them out. Put all the tools back in your junk journal tools pouch and you'll be able to find them when you want them. All right, so let's look over here real fast. Oh, I've got, I've got these little roses, and I have some dragonflies left from the Dancing Dragonflies kit. So how about if we do that? Oh, oh no. I didn't get one bound in. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I guess it was extra. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, I thought I messed up. Alrighty, so we're going to tie tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. I think I want the rows down low, but not off the page. So I'll just tie a little knot here. I'm putting charms on the journal. I know you asked for bling earlier, so I didn't use bling. I thought about it for a split second. Then that thought got lonely and left. All right, so we'll put this guy up here. <laughs> uh, uh, binder clips, yeah. Uh, I used to have a great big one, but they're similar. Well, I don't know where my binder clips are. I haven't found them yet. All right, so I'm just trimming that off. And then we'll have this journal ready to go. And it's got the, the handmade paper sticks out. I think I want to make a journal with more handmade paper in it like that. That's kind of cool looking. I'll be doing some more paper sessions. I'm trying to use up all these scraps of paper that I have and old newsletters and I've got instruction manuals that I had for continuing education when I was an insurance agent and uh, speech manuals and there's just a lot of old old stuff that really isn't good to anybody it's just memorabilia for me but not really so 
I can shred it and make my own paper. You love the paper sticking out, Jennifer? It's kind of cool, isn't it? Right, I'm just tying off some square knots. All right, let's do the raffle. And then we'll flip through the journals. All right, so. Oh, that's what I didn't put back. Let me put this back over here. Okay. Yeah, Robin, I'm trying to decide when because the weather's getting so hot we should do it outside but i don't want to do it when in the heat of the day so we may not do it until like september so thank you Lori. thank you so very much all right let's uh, pick a winner for the journal charm all right and that winner is Oh, what glue do I use when I glue my pages back to back? I use Aline's Tacky Glue. Connie Bart, you are the winner of the second journal charm. So we had Leslie on the first one and Connie on the second one. And I use Aline's Tacky Glue for almost everything, Leslie. Or I will use... The best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. That's pretty much all the glue I use. I don't have a bunch of glues. I have some E6000 if I know it's a difficult item, like trying to glue metal to fabric or something. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We had several people donate today. Thank y'all for your donations. We're going to... <laughs> Your brother, yeah. Sometimes the casinos are fun to go to. If they have live music, I like sitting where I can listen to live music. So these people donated today: Barb Dingwell, Jennifer, Ada, and C. Nadine, Tanya, Janice, Jennifer, Linda, Margarita, Morgan, Mary, Margie. Thirty-five dollars. Thank you so much, Margie. And that's it. Everybody else was subscribers. Thanks for the new subscribers. We had Lee McFall and uh, Civil Lamer, as well as Line Art Mixed Media Designs. Thank y'all for donating or uh, attending today and uh, subscription. I can't get my word. Only one journal will be raffled off. Okay, so we're going to give away one journal today. So I'm going to reset this. And I need my journal notepad open. <laughs> and this is going to be a one eclectic. And copy. And then we're going to click over here. So the people that I called off, now is the time for you to enter the raffle. If you made a donation today and you want a chance to win one of these two journals, remember that if you donated, you are now entitled to my membership on my website for the YouTube donators. Definitely go over to my website, lindaisrael.com and create a user account and then message me that you donated during the live stream. All right, so we're going to go through these so you kind of know we've got the yellow lilies on this one. <clears throat> and I use the same concepts on some of the pages, and of course, some of them are different, but we just had some journal cards here. This is that little tiny library card. That's one of Norella's little postcards in my gel print pockets. And I just printed a page that I had several pages pre-printed on my desk. I like mixing the colors and the fabric and the gel prints. Again, this was just printing two pages back to back. This is from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group when we reached 10,000 or members, I think, something like that. Uh, it was a free journal kit. I need to put it on my website too. Here's my handmade paper. Junk never looks so good. And then using from the wildflowers kit. More of the handmade paper. This is the all about Robin's kit. Uh, 
the Unicorn Dreams, Dancing Dragonflies. Did you catch that, Suzanne? No, let's see. I did not see you in the list. Where did you donate, Suzanne? Because <laughs> I didn't see it come up. This was a journal card that someone sent me and I used it. You love the ABCs? Is that a stamp? Oh, that was... That is a digital image by Calico Collage. I do have a different script alphabet stamp that looks concept like that by Beeline Design. Unicorn Dreams. But I just thought it was kind of cool mixing all the serene flora here, all about robins. This was the journal card with the postcard. I'm squishing things. That was the yellow that I showed you in the pink. This is the um, abstract tile stencil. Here is our library card with our library pocket. And remember, this is a text spot here as well. So if you have something that you want to put in there, this isn't quite big enough. And you got to be careful because this paper is delicate. In fact, it did just kind of rip. All right, don't use that pocket. <laughs> don't rip it. And this will get some movement to it, but I don't know. I just thought it was too cute to put in there. Not to put in there. Here is a faux envelope. One of Norella's digitals. Okay. Thank you, Suzanne. It probably just didn't register. And I like this little pocket. How it came out. This is a mop-up page that I stamped from the Dancing Dragonflies kit. I don't see. Oh, uh, S M E R. Is that you, Samantha? Uh, S Suzanne Roberts. It was ten dollars. I just saw it. So Suzanne, get in. I just saw it. S M E R donated ten dollars. Here, let me see if it'll do the alert. Did it do the dancing? There. Yeah. Is that you? If that's you, speak up in the chat by entering the raffle. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. It's one of Norella's. And then using the digitals like that. I don't ever usually glue things on top of Norella's pages. And I don't know why, because I always think they're so pretty. But I was having fun just kind of finding a few things. So you get all this color and pattern. yellow here all these little pieces all kinds of journal cards and tags and whatnots that has the little booklet oh and I use that same uh, pocket element that's funny that it got used in the same journal because I used it there <laughs> Y'all can take this journal apart and make more journals. And happy day. All right, so let's flip through the spring bouquet. I was just going to call that spring bouquet. So you've got the yellow lilies or spring bouquet. So when I call for the winner, tell me which one you want. Hello, Julie. It, you fussy cut a million butterflies a few days ago. Pockets, there you go. There you go. How do you get the dragonfly that was stenciled on that page with the blue? From the Dancing Dragonflies kit, you have this uh, Mandela size, uh, round, 
chipboard piece, lay it onto your journal page and spray it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and that will give that look of spraying through that chipboard piece. And that's how I got that look. Okay. This is my gel print that I scanned in and then added the stamping on top and all about robins. Yep, the round one. Yep, that was a chipboard piece. It was a chipboard piece. You got it. <laughs> all right, Suzanne. Yep, you already have it. Exactly. Another journal card. Here in the middle, we did the journal charms. This one's got the little tiny postcard here. Notes. Same pocket elements. You missed the whole thing, Julie. So this one you get the um, postcard. I have an extra library card. I'm going to stick one in there because I don't think I saw one in this journal. And then here we have a journal card here. Printed page. And then made this envelope that you can use for journaling space. Oh, you got your box today, Jennifer. Yay, I'm so glad. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. All right, so tell me which journal you want when I draw your name here in just a moment. I'll tie this back shut. Uh, you know, I may do another eclectic journal on Monday, mainly because I have so much of this stuff on my desk. I really don't want to print a new kit yet until I can get some more of this stuff organized. Is that okay with y'all? <laughs> I would rather use up some of this stuff. I'll show you my bin. Y'all ready? Y'all in the raffle? So I made this little bin to have pockets and tuck spots. So that there's a little pocket. This would be a tuck spot. And even though these are little labels, they could be a, a tuck spot. And then I made little, like that's a little tuck spot that I made. And I went ahead and added a journal card to it. Like this one was made out of a rubber stamped image. And I had all these things already in my stash. Like this is a Tim Holtz die. And I just added a few pieces to it. I even added a back. Because I thought it needed a back. It just kind of made it a little bit cleaner. So when you go to glue this down on your page, you can either glue it all the way or make it another pocket. So I just made a bunch of little things that I have here. And then this one has larger journal cards. It has printed cards. I've got a couple of the faux envelopes. I haven't done anything with this one yet, but this was a pocket journal card uh, that I made a while back. I just need to make some cards to go inside of it. I was playing around and I decorated an envelope and just put a printed kit inside item inside so you know just kind of making a few things with the stuff i already had on my desk because i have a whole bunch of these printed that i can use so that's what we're going to do next monday all right uh thank you so much jennifer love the eclectic ones okay the eclectic or fab. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank y'all. You were making dinner, Margie. It's time for dinner. I'm ready. 
Mm. I'm still drinking my smoothie. I'm I'm so tempted to pull the little pieces of paper. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Inkjet printer, Ada. Where's my plate, man? Inkjet printer. I have a Hewlett Packard Photo Envy, like fifty to sixty something. It's about mm, four, three, four years old model, if you will. This is my second one. The first one, I ran it into the ground. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. We're giving away two journals today, y'all. And uh, so if you want a chance to win one of these journals, even give me a donation of a dollar, you get a chance. Uh, so what was I saying? <laughs> I bought the printer and then I was changing out the ink in it and all of a sudden a spring goes flying out of the printer. So I had to go get a new one and I got the same model. I love it a lot. And I have the Hewlett Packard instant ink program. So for $11.99, I can print 300 full color pages. So this is printed on that printer and I love it. It doesn't cost me but $11.99 for ink cartridges a month and that's pretty cheap it's a hewlett packard photo envy 50 5200 series and that should get you it's a photo quality okay you having leftover spaghetti we're having leftover chinese food there's a chinese restaurant really close to us that if i order it for henry and i it's enough for him to have two meals and it's enough for me to have three meals so i'll have lunch out of it <laughs> as well that was a fly on the desk yes it was did you see it i had the back door open because it was so pretty earlier all right let's pick the winners that's awesome Lori. that's awesome thank you so much uh, margie for your donation you're welcome ada all right so Nadine, Mary, Margie, Barb, Suzanne, Linda, Janice, Morgan, Jennifer, Margarita, Tanya, Jennifer Smith, and Ada. Did I get everybody? Barb. Barb, are you there? Yep, Barb's there. And Margie. Margie? Yeah, all right. Pick the first winner. Tell me which one you want. Do you want the yellow lilies or the spring flowers? No other options but those. <laughs> Nadine Wheeler, congratulations. You're the first winner today of the journals. Woot woot. <laughs> Yay. Tell me which one, which one you want. Tell me which one, which one you want. Congratulations, Nadine. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, you were in there. Congratulations. We're going to pick one more after you tell me which one you want. Margie, I'm sending you something special in your box. I hope you like it. Yay! Which one do you want? The yellow lilies or spring flowers? Yes, she was in. She was in. Jennifer was in. Miss Edmondson. All right, Nadine, which one you want? I'm waiting on you to tell me. Yellow flowers. All right, so Nadine's getting the lilies, the yellow lilies. Our second winner is Ada. Congratulations, Ada. I'm so glad that you won. Yay. So you get the uh, spring flowers, Ada, which reminds me, I need to write my notes. So I'll get that out, get that ready, get my pen ready. Thank you so very much. I love you too, Margie. No, I have something set aside for you anyway. So, <laughs> yay, Ada. <laughs> All right, well, I will be taking pictures of some of my handmade papers to get those added to my shop. Uh, what else? I've got some of your suggestions for rubber stamps. I'm going to 
play around in my stash this week and make some more journal pages for next Monday to get it all ready. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, I'm trying to come up with different ideas. Some of these may seem the same old, same old, but I'm hoping that you can see it in different configurations of the same thing that you'll see how you can do the same thing over and over, but make it look completely different just by switching up the patterns and textures and whatnot. Yay, Tanya, I'm glad you did. Nadine is getting the yellow lilies, Robin. Nadine's getting the yellow lilies. Ada is getting the spring flowers. So I've, yeah. Nadine, you have a lag? Okay. Sometimes that happens. That one's going to Nadine, and this is going to Ada. I have to write my thank you note. See you in a few weeks. Have a good uh, little vacation from us, Lori. We love you lots. <clears throat> You're very welcome, Jennifer. Yay, Ada's dancing with joy. Joy to the world. All the boys and girls say. <laughs> You're welcome, Suzanne. Thank y'all for being here. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. It's time for dinner. I got to write some notes, get that all ready. And uh, if y'all have any questions, hey, do me a favor and ask those down below. Hey, give me, come back after the live stream's over and let me know what did you like the most about today's live stream. All righty. Y'all have an amazing week. Got a salsa on. There you go, Ada. <laughs> I will be back on Monday. And I think it's going to be eclectic. I may use several of my new Faith Rubber stamps just to kind of sprinkle that in a little bit next week. Bye, Julie. Thanks for stopping in. Y'all have an amazing day. Lots of love to all of you. Bye, everybody.